So after it been out about six months, seven, um, we're gonna fix these spring hangers in the back of my 96 Jeep Cherokee. Now I've already got the hanger replacements from Ironman Fab 4before.com. And basically we just have to cut out this little pocket that is stamped and welded onto the subframe so we can put the new parts on. First things first, you might want to cut a grab your cutoff wheels and just cut everything off, but I opted for this. It allows me to have no sparks, no fire hazards, more or less, while letting me cut these little, uh, let's see, right there, right there. You can see one here, like one there. There's like three spot welds here, a couple on the bottom, and then a couple here. And being that I don't even have uh, floorboards, you can see that don't even have to do the work up there. Just get this cut out, slap the old stuff off, put the new on, and bolt it up, weld it up, and it's done. You can see up there, it's pretty crusty on the bottom of this Jeep, but it's enough for the Woods Toy winter before before it is. So basically, we're going to go ahead and focus right here. And you can see what I'm talking about with my Bauer oscillating tool. It costed about 70 bucks. And it's handy. Trust me, it is handy. Mostly for this right here. I can slide it up under there, not have a ton of sparks and stuff like that, and not actually hurt the subframe under. Basically, this is what we're looking at. You can see where. It's basically just separating, so that's a good thing it all doesn't matter because that other piece will just cap over. Because this is, like I said, just crusty. So at this point, we're just going through. If I had a plasma cutter, I'd have had it already out. You can see where I'd cut through a weld and was basically trying to peel it up, and I figured out what it was doing. So yeah. That's where we're at. We're just trying to get this pocket out. So I'm actually not taking it off in one big piece like I thought I would. So I've actually opted to bring it off in multiple pieces so I can try to get cleaner cuts and such like that. So basically that's where we're at right now just getting that cleaner cut and again I gotta kind of get room so I can cut this bolt out here so I can get that out again it's not a hard thing there's nothing on the back side it's just getting this cleared off of this side so that that piece can slide up around the frame rail itself So now I got my suppliers to work with. Uh, let's see here. Cut this all out. Precip side. Yeah, 
Now, I don't think it's supposed to look like all this based on the fact that I think the inside wall has been trimmed out, but it was also breaking at the bottom, so it doesn't really matter because this is all getting replaced. But yeah, you can see there that inner wall, it just started getting cut out. So, oh well. It's just one of the things I'm tired of dealing with it. It needs to be done. And I have no assistance at my house at all. So this is how I deal with it. This is how I deal with a lot of things in life. I play nicely at first, and then when it becomes a problem that I'm seeing that can't be resolved with simple talking, this is what it becomes. So, it's nice to have destruction at hand. Bam. Now, there you can see why that these rust out quite often it's because they are nothing but rust patches uh just this i mean there's dirt and silt in there it's paint paper i don't know so all this is going to be covered over with the new piece welded in whatnot so i've got to lower the jeep down so i can get a this spring to lift up or actually it's not lifting up, it's just that the body will be sinking lower. And then once I do that, it'll be time to bolt in a new piece, if I can find something to bolt to. Uh, I also have to try to separate these pieces here so it has something flat to go on. May even just say screw it and cut it out and call it a day. I'm just tired, I want this done. All right guys, so we've made progress. I know there's a gaping hole in the side of this. Again, it doesn't matter because it's all being welded back. So right now, I just have to punch out the bolt, drop the body back down so that this goes up out of the way. Don't mind this. My grinder caught it cutting that bolt head out. Again, it's just a play thing, so it's not really... It can be driven on the road, but I don't like to because it's got a lock differential and it chews the tires up bad. But anyways... Looks like my way of doing things over trying to mince words and play nice with it is making progress. It's nice and open. I got one piece of metal here on the back side to cut out, but I'll do that once I get my body dropped down enough to allow this to go on up out of the way. And yeah, that's, that's gonna push right out. It's not stuck. That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, probably can go ahead and just use my chisel to yeah I can push it on out so yeah that back side the the nut side of everything bam it's it's out this is what it looks like you can see here it was rust seized anyway tried to cut it and I got uh, a third of the way ran out of space with the cut everything that's a big bolt so I just basically kept heating it with a cutoff wheel and just moving it around until I got it to where it would fold up. But at any rate, I got it. So now let's drop the body down just a tad and finish this piece of metal here and dress this up. All right, so now we have everything cut out as much as I think we'll need because we don't want to cut too much or we want nothing to weld the the new piece to so now we're going to go ahead and jack up the body in an ever increasingly slow manner i don't know why it's taking so freaking long with this jack but yeah this this body has to go up another four inches or so so that Basically, I can use a pry bar, get under that leaf spring, and draw it down like so. 
but right now it's up into the floorboards technically speaking so right now i'm just going to go ahead and jack it up and get it out of the way because the back i noticed that the back of this had been sinking for a while but i thought it was where they put the lift kit on it maybe it just it was tired leaf springs i was hoping for but i didn't know the intricacies of a jeep and cherokee xj until after i bought it i didn't have a, a guide i didn't have nobody telling me what to look for uh my para the parameters for me buying this thing was it ran it drove and it had a title that was literally as far as it went i mean i'm not really complaining about my situation as you know i kind of put myself here with the those unrealistic things but i wanted something cheap and easy to work on for my family and so far uh that has not been the case uh, it's been fairly cheap i could for the cost of this i couldn't have made everything included including the parts to fix this particular issue i couldn't have paid the down payment on a new razor so there's that yep. and i don't like razors and side by sides in general because there's no room in them i'd like to take my family out the whole purpose of buying a four door Just wanted to show you what I'm working with, which is the Iron Man kit that I showed you earlier in another video. And basically, this is your new leaf spring hanger coupled with this that literally just acts as a belly band under that subframe, which is why I said it didn't matter because being I don't have any floorboards, like literally, whenever it's put on, I can have them just go on inside and run a bead on the inside and be done. So I'm cool with that if they are. Uh, basically, that's where this is all at. <laughs> the kit says to bolt it and weld it, but my problem is what do I bolt to? Being as, uh, oh yeah, I don't actually have anything to bolt to. So yeah, we're just gonna weld the crap out of this, go from there.
So here's where we're at so far. I'm gonna kind of wrap it up and call it an evening. Uh, I do have the kids today while their mommy's at work. So yeah, so I got the nut and stuff like that on, uh, getting it ready. Uh, that way they can go ahead and weld it together for me at the shop. Uh, I'll show you the inside, what it looks like here in just a moment but just by looking it looks like i might be able to get one bolt in here and on the back side uh three bolts something like that now there is some measurements that has to be done another youtuber actually did the same thing but his was more of photos than actual video and he gave an alignment basically from the seat bracket bolt here from here back to however far it was uh, i'll throw that up here later on in the video but like i said it, i think it was like 19 inches and something from this bolt bracket hole straight back to put these in the factory area uh, like i said I'll, I'll, I'll link his video to this one that way you can kind of make heads or tails of it Cause this isn't a straightforward thing i had to i had to do a lot of just random stuff to get to this point again this is why that i wasn't so terribly worried about things as you can literally see through to get a big gun in there and at least most most part welded up uh, this will probably end up coming on off just to give rise to clean metal under it uh, yeah, it's a much better system than what was in there, but it, man, it's a pain in the hind end. 10 out of 10, do not recommend abort mission. Do not do this unless you broke his all get out and you can't afford another Jeep, but you got a, a shop full of tools like I do. Uh, so there's that. So far, this is what it looks like when you get everything back together. Now the welding better than what I could do and uh, yeah it, uh, it's welded at all possible angles so now everything's been welded in at least as far as it could be done the bolts didn't really apply to me as I didn't have anything for it to bolt to. So, yeah, like I said, I had them weld as much as possible to get it done. Uh, 
again this is supposed to be bolted and welded and I could only get welded if I put actual floor pans in well those in I could then bolt it but we're not gonna get that far is it it's just a it's just an old woods toy so that's where all that is at this moment in time so that is a job completed as far as I'm concerned